Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with mods. We are currently playing with the man with no name, and we're halfway through Expedition 5 of 6. So you'd have thought everything was going rather swimmingly, but at the end of the last episode, we were given the right old shaft by this big fountainous area where we've got the, uh, the big green light coggy thing we need to turn on in order to open up the pyramid. And, well, basically it flooded without giving you the the default warning sign it's going to flood i.e fountains of water coming out of those geysers around usually that's what happens didn't happen this time we got shafted well twice if you want to get technical about it we lost our book full of anthropological studies that's 140 fame down the pan straight away we're on certain death we cannot afford to lose 140 fame so openly like that so uh yeah i'm well I don't want to rub it in too much, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit still annoyed by it all, but hey-ho, we shall uh, crack on. As it stands, uh, we've got no sanity and we need to get down south. I presume, because we're on Expedition 5, we're going to need to find another one of these uh, golden seals. It's probably going to be down the bottom somewhere, I'd have thought. I'm hoping that this being what I, what I presume will be a cave is going to open up a tunnel and lead us elsewhere but before we do all that we need to create some sanity so let's eat the meat and a little strawberry because why not that should get us close enough 36 39 or 36 no because we might get taken away uh let's let's go here first i mean it could be a trader or not uh stone circle we're in fear of annoying the natives if we do use it I, I, to be honest with you I, I, we're covering things pretty well ah i'm gonna guess that's the golden circle because it's surrounded by more bloody water uh let's uh let's crack on to here which i'm hoping is going to be a cave of some sort indeedy we approached a cave it's opening led the, 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 deep into the mountain that was what i'm looking for we require the torch to move inside we've got how many five fine oh okay we lit the torch and descended into the darkness we found a small cavern strewn with the detritus of what seemed to be a failed expedition the skeletal remains of what must have been a german explorer presented us with a crooked smile ah oh, not good all the bones we found have been cracked open and it seems such empty of mallow we were delighted to see that some of the corpses were still clinging to useful equipment please be food well i mean yeah we'll take it uh, that's interesting where are you then? You're on a bit of a green patch below a mountain next to some scrubland. You are there. 80% 80, 80 of going insane. Let's go see what it is, I guess. Oh, we found a strawberry. After many hours of digging, we excavated an interesting artifact. A treasure pendulum? Don't mind if I do. Um, I presume we can, we'll probably just end up trading that in. So, 100% insane, insanity. It's not a word. Uh, to, to, uh, to get close to that. I mean, 40%, 35, 40. 30, yeah, let's go to there. I think the Raptor will stay away. Okay, we're into our another region now. 20% insanity. Uh, I think we're going to have to crack open the old D campsite at this point. It's probably best if we fill all the way up anyway. I could really do with a green mushroom to clear up our chef before they go proper loopy. Uh, but hey-ho. I instructed the trek to halt and allowed everyone to rest. It was pitch black. As we sat by the campfire, our group was growing tense and a discussion between Claudia and Sobertuk escalated into a heated argument. A moment later, the pair were exchanging blows and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. These girls just do not get on, do they? They just do not get on. Uh, so, from a loyalty point of view, it's going to have to be Claudia. Ah, uh, we're alright. We did it. We overwhelmed Claudio and separated the two. The pair simmered down, but there lingered an air of hatred. That's a harsh word. It's a very harsh word. Uh, we've got six dynamite. We might have to blow through some mountains in a minute. Sleeping with a roof over one's head was a luxury we were seldom afforded. So let's do it again. I instructed the trek to halt to catch our breath. There was a good place. Or oh, this was a good place. And I was sure we would get some well deserved rest here. Oh, what is strength? What is fortitude? How would one measure one's forte? 
Some took took my philosophical musing quite literally and challenged me to a heavy lifting competition. Let's do it. Boom! What a refreshing way to spend time. I felt alive as I beat her. <laughs> I could see respect in her eyes. Down, Subatug! Down! <laughs> right, is that going to take us up to full sanity now? Cool. All right, let's pack up the camp. Oh, we have a fire. We have a fire. Oh, Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Where? Out behind us. That's fine. So let's get in front of this in case it is a... Oh, it's an abandoned camp. Yeah, I know what that place is. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get there. Uh, we entered an old campsite. There were remains of what seemed to be a found expedition from long ago. There were some remains of what must have been an oriental explorer. They must have quarreled over loot. Oh, I know that. I know that talk. It's 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 never good. It's never good. Greed. It gets to us all, you know. All right, let's see what he's got. Uh, berries and costume flares. We shall take them. And eat them straight away. I mean, there's a good chance we're going to run out of water here at some point. Oh, and Oasis, he says, before finding somewhere he can pick up water. Everyone was relieved to arrive at the Oasis, a shining beacon of hope in the midst of a desolate region. All right, the air was fresh and cool as we prepared the campfire. Unexpected visitors arrived. We were surprised to see natives wrapped in robes. Cloudy Maisonette glowed at me with narrow eyes. She whispered that the strangers were here to kill us, and we should not let them join our campfire. Oh, she's a racist. And her loyalty is pretty low. Um, I'm going to send them away for the sake of that. I don't want to upset our cook much more. We cannot trust some unknown natives in the region. Without further ado, they left and were quickly swallowed by the night. It would have been nice if we could have got together with them. I believe if we'd have given given them some stuff, we, our um, rating would have gone up. But hey-ho. Uh, we shall... Do I want to refill the water? Why not? That'll do. All right, so let's get ourselves to here and see if this place drains in the meantime. Oh, there'd be a shrine. Oh, and that looks like it's all locked off. Ooh. Right, okay. So let's do this. At least this will tell us where the pyramid is. We approach an immemorial structure that seemed to be partially made out of pure gold. We discovered a mechanism of sorts on one of the sides. I believe that with some ingenuity we would set it in motion. However, what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. Let's do it. It took us a while, but eventually we were able to activate the mysterious mechanism. All of a sudden, an enormous column of light extended from the seal. Who'd have funk it, eh? Oh, of course. Of course, the furthest point away. Bastards. Absolute bastards. At least it means we can come back up northbound and hit a few things along the way. Probably end up blowing up through one of these just so we can escape. Uh, this is going to flood 20% insanity. If we eat the strawberry, is that enough to get across? I mean, it floods outward from the geyser. We should be okay. Tipsy top. And out with the, out with the tent, I tell you. Out with the tent. Let's do this. We assembled our camp. Right, so, uh, rest. Cloud Mason, oh, started, oh, behaving rather peculiarly. She was very upset and accused the others of conspiring against her. I was able to calm her down, but the situation had been very stressful. Oh, dear. She's she's ready to go. She is ready to be gone from us. Which, uh, well, it's not too bad from a combat perspective. Uh, capacity, we'll take a little bit of a hit. Uh, the fact that she makes food, though, is, is rather lovely, usually. It was a beautiful night, and everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. The scorching heat of midday turned into a bitterly cold night. I must say, I quite enjoyed the change. The night was perfectly still, and I was alone with my thoughts. The night was so cold, the water I was carrying froze. I had to heat up the water flask by the campfire, or the, the campfire, to drink it first. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! So, it looks like we're going to have one more stop. Yep. Oh, so we took, explored the vicinity of our camp. She came back some hours later with a proud expression on her face. In her hands, he held the gorged meat from some poor animal. I was unable to tell which animal the meat was from, but it was probably better to plead ignorance. Cloudy Maisonette was excited about preparing the food forthwith. Um, I presume the reason I argue so much is because she's racist. That would be my deduction. All right, so, oh, we've got a fire. 
Oh, we've got a fire. Uh, okay. I mean, how upset are they? they, they were, they're pretty upset. All right, we're going to go northbound. You know what? I'm going to deduct. That's going to burn out before we get there. So let's do it. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Ha ha. Okay. So it's 34 out of 100. We've got, we've got three meat. So let's cook up the meat in case we lose the chef. Let's eat one and pull the camp out. We'll get to full sanity, hit the shrine, then peg it. And then we've got a couple of meat extra for a little bit of extra sanity in case it's something we do have to run away from pretty damn quick. So rest. This was a good place and I was sure we would get some well-deserved rest here. I laid awake and listening to the dark wildlife surrounding me, it had me wondering if there was a way to foresee the kinds of dangers that awaited me when exploring the mysterious temples in these lands. Maybe if I paid special attention to each temple's aesthetic, I could gain more knowledge. Well, we'll put that to good use in a second, no doubt. Uh, we're going to have to rest once more. 89? I think it was probably not worth it. All right, so... Let's do this. We stood before a temple comprised of huge stones. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Low-hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. How much metal packs do I have? Six. Low-hanging vines partially concealed... Yeah, I read that bit. I noticed that some areas of the structure were overgrown by some sort of abnormal fungus. Its growth was tumorous. Even looking at it made me uncomfortable. Before say some kind of ceremonial tomb, room, boom. If these places held any riches... I knew we'd find them here. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. I tell you what, can you tell I haven't eaten for like eight hours? Because I just cannot read today at all. I'm going to take all that. I just cannot read. Uh, the fungus broke through the ground and covered everything in oily red patches. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And we've got a fire from Claudia. Oh. I mean, how can we have a question mark on there? That makes no sense. Uh, all right, here, let's combine you two. I'm not riding the donkey, am I? I should have probably been riding the donkey this time, but hey-ho. At least we're on fire, I suppose. Uh, 82? Or do we just leg it and hope for the best? We're going to be chased, that's for sure. Let's do it. They're going to come after us. We might as well make this as as easy as we can in the meantime or not we'll just we'll just uh knock it off i guess right so eat those two put out the tent again we've got a hell of a trek there's gonna be a few rests i feel was that the only one of course not of course not it's the only one we need to be concerned about for the time being we're probably going to be Beating up spiders all the way home, though. Hey-ho. Uh, right, so, campsite. I mean, we might get lucky and find a teleportation scroll. That would be pretty cool. Rest. Sobertook eyed me through the bored look of someone of a game aficionado. Okay. I soon found myself challenged to a game of cards. Technically a 50-50 chance. Plus an extra roll. Boo. So what happens now? Decreased loyalty? It seems I was merely her mark. I lost and badly, and I went to bed angry at Sobertook for this insulting game. These things happen. You've, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. 81. We'll rest again. The team eagerly gathered for, uh, wood for a fire. It was a fine night, and everyone seemed happy. Tippity top. Everyone's getting along. Alright, so let's pack up the camp. Nothing crazy goes on there. And let's see how far we can travel in. Well, I suppose if we... 92? No, let's go to here. There might be something down in this break in the rocks. Which will be worth looking at. Oh, we found a strawberry. So, 24. We'll eat the strawberry because why the hell not? Can we go to the other side of this? 32? Why not?
and we've got one more 60 percent i mean it's a hell of a lot isn't it as far as the desert's concerned i might have to pick up some water here pick up some water all right so uh we shall rest first Price loyalty, oh dear. After a long day of logging our findings, I commanded that the camping area be cleared. I wanted to have a bit of peace, quiet and comfort for a change. Subative called me out calmly. He claimed I was destroying this region. I chastised her angrily for doubting my leadership. I wondered whether people back home would even stop for a second to consider her wild ideas. Oh well. I rest again. Oh, this night had we had a supernatural occurrence. The spirit of dead natives appeared to us. They mourned about their deaths caused by the natural monsters that were breeding in a nearby cave. If we would avenge them and hunt down the monsters, they promised that we would find a worthwhile magical reward on their corpses. Let's do it. They seemed grateful and told us about the location of a cave. I can't get that cave if it's off the map. <sighs> All right, okay, well, let's refill some water. Uh, a fire. We're, we're, we're just a load of uh, firebugs around here. Litterbugs and firebugs. Oh, an abandoned camp. We approached an old campsite. There were debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition from long before we had stepped foot in this land. The meagre remnants were long rotten. On the upside, one competitor less. I spotted animal tracks. Staying here would surely attract some unwanted guests. I'm fine with that. I was confident we would find something valuable here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. Oh. We'll take it all. What we got on us? Hyenas? Two slots overburdened and hyenas. Right, so we're going to fill up that. Dump that. Two. Oh, I knew something like that was going to happen. Uh, three. Four. Why not? Forty-two. Keeps us away from the hyenas. I believe. I don't think we'll... We've got, we got the warrior on our side. We should be all right. Oh, we're not close enough? Oh, my bad. I thought that was it. Uh, explore eight. Enter the period. And uh, we should be able to make it up to the top. A portal? Interesting. I mean... Why not, I guess. Um, I thought the corrupted lands threw spiders at us. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to moan, but hey-ho. Uh, uh, well, hmm. Let's fill up first, and then we can have a proper look around, I suppose. Uh, we could do, do with finding a cave with some mushrooms in, or a um, uh, shaman. That's the word I'm looking for. Rest. Oh, we've got to go off light, uh, lightly there. That's good. You going to fill me all the way up? 80. Once again, are we good? Subatook started singing a strange song. While the melody was initially a little difficult to follow, we soon simmered down and looked upon the fire as the singing soothed our minds. Does that mean people are happy now? No. All right, well, uh, we'll pack up the camp, I guess. Oh, my, my portal's on fire. Hey-ho. A mysterious arch towered above us. A light swirling at its centre seemed to form some kind of portal. We mustered the courage and walked through the blinding light. A moment later, we emerged out into an unusual landscape. Be relatively small with lots of question marks. Yeah. I've had worse. I've had worse. Uh, we're not going to get to them all, that's for sure. Um, we should probably... 16 days travel time. How many days do we have? 27. 23 days travel time. I think we should probably concentrate on these three down here. Uh, do I want to take on the raptor? I mean, I'm going to have to take on the raptor, but do I want to take on the raptor? Uh, let's do it. Uh, just the one? It's fine by me. 
So, how are we going to destroy this one? We've got 12 health. How many die? Th three. All right. And we've got uh, a lookout. No good for me. Right, so. Oh, hang on. What be you then? Faint! Well, that's a new one. Uh, but no. We shall hold on to you. And hold on to you. Damage five. Cool. Uh, roll again. Hold on to you. Can I take you out? Really? You don't like an accurate shot? That makes no sense. Ah, that's what we were looking for. Boom shakalak. We deprived the dead of anything useful. Right, so. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take it all. So two slots overburdened. Let's cook up the um, um what do i want to drop you know what these machetes are, are about to come in useful actually <laughs> so we'll keep those um i'm guessing we're gonna get rid of well if i eat a meat 98 two slots over but um Right, okay, so that, hmm, I hate dropping raptor skins. I mean, I could get rid of the water. We can always fill up on the way home. And I suppose the meat for what it's worth. 24. What do we have? Uh, stone circle. We don't get anything off a of stone circle. Uh, I suppose it might let us know. Oh no, they're going to both be upset. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. And we've got a fire to deal with. Uh, let's attack the panther first. Door two. Uh, what have we got? Ten. All right. Well, how many died do they have? Three. We could probably go with defensive maneuverers. Five damage. Five left. Let's throw in some of these. Three hits? Why not? Uh, I'm just looking at doing an outright kill here. I suppose I could put a stun on you. Uh, we need defense. Two. Why not? Is that a defense as well? Damage of three for a kick. You know what? I'm going to hold out. I'm quite happy with that. Do I want to wait for the next round? Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. All right, so we should be able to kick this guy in the face. So you... Want to keep you. Really? Nothing else stacks with the attack die. Okay, we're going to hold on to you, you, and you. Roll the rest. That'll do. Right, so uh, take it all. all. Right, two slots overburdened. So we're going to cook up you, eat all of you. It's a shame it doesn't pull up loyalty if you overfeed. Right, so that is only worth 5 fame, 20 funds. But we've got two of them. What else would I drop? I mean, I could drop rope. I don't want to drop any more water, really. We'll drop the, we'll drop the rope. Oh, we've got a shrine. Uh-oh, something's going on. Oh, in the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. Cybertruck's wound was beginning to look particularly nauseating. Oh dear. Well, we're going to use uh, that on you. Right, so we'll hit the shrine and then we'll hit whatever this is over here. We've got enough sanity to do so. We've got enough time. Just about. Uh, so 
examine the shrine. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in light before us. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Grand stairs led up to an enormous doorway. The building was cold to the touch. I wonder if the stone was resistant to warmth or if there was some other explanation. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. God! This was not a day of hesitation. The treasure was ours for the taking. All of a sudden, the temperature dropped all around me. I could see my own breath crystallizing the air, and every breath was like tiny needles were being jammed into my nose and throat. But hey, we found gold, and we're now one slot overburdened. This is getting harder and harder. Uh, right, so... I mean, I'm holding on to the custom flares. There's no need for that, really, is there? Let's go over here. And we have another shrine. How many days do we have left? Six. Can we actually travel six days? We can. Cool. And we've got just enough sanity to do so. Uh, we arrived at a majestic structure, seemingly a holy shrine to the inhabitants of the region. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. The circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. The surface about the structure felt hot to the touch. It was still impossible to walk there. No, it was still possible to walk there, but the potential source of this heat was disconcerting and ding 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 ding. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room, we quietly looked around the majestic hall. An altar, illuminated from breathtaking ambiance, stood atop a plinth. None of that's going to stack. Great. And volcanoes, because... And fire. Dear God. Dear God. Right. Okay, it, this is getting a little bit complicated now. What what can I afford to drop? That's that's the question. What can I afford to drop? Well, I I, I think the panther pelt's gonna have to go. That's for sure. And oh, I mean the, the torches. We've got caves coming up when we get back. We're going to need the bullets. We, we don't need the moonstones. They haven't come up this time. Or do I just drop the water? I'm just very aware we don't have a lot of uh, money for the next expedition. And we are losing a lot of the, the basic stuff we need. Um, oh, God. I, oh, decisions. Um, um. Um, Jules. Jules can go. Can Jules go? 40. I'm carrying 60 in a, in a, oh, dear God. Water. We can always, we can always do the sanity thing. That's fine. And, uh, 20%, 26, 34. Raptor aggroed for up teen days. You know what? We're going to be fighting the Raptor in a second. So we'll get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. That's not fair. Wow. Some mega big hits there as well. So they got, what, 12 health? All right. If that's how we're going to play this game, we're going to be holding on to you, 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 and you. Hmm. And you. Right, so... Drop you, you, and you. I'm going to throw you up. And third off your life. Strong bleeding. We'll put that onto you. Throw those two out. Three. Throw a shield as well, plus the one for attack. Roll again. And that be it. So we've got two shield... Strong bleeding of three. Ooh, we're going to take a kick in. Oh, I'm out. That's it. I'm down. Boom. What do you do? Evade of three. We've got to go in for the kill here. Damage of four. That'll do me. Right, so at least this stuff stacks. 
So let's uh, cook up the meat. Eat all the bloody meat. Uh, do I want to heal myself? Probably. Yeah, we'll heal ourselves. And then we've just got to keep on moving. I mean, we've got what? Four days? Should be enough to get us back. Oh, and we found a strawberry. A parting gift. A parting gift. Oh, we're still on fire. Right, so let's eat that. 68. Can we get up to there? Can we get up to there without going through that? So, a cave of sorts. What's going on? Infected wound. That's fine. We'll heal her up now. All right, let's see what's in this cave. Oh, mushrooms. Here we go. Please. No, I'll read it first. We discovered a remarkable underground lake. The water was clear as day, sustaining the growth of mushrooms with a vibrant hue. If we were to invest a little time, we would surely be able to collect a few samples. Right. So, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to refill some water. That might seem a little bit silly, but I'll explain that in a second. And then collecting the mushrooms. Please have the green mushroom. Just one. That's all I need. Just for the chef. Just for the chef. Son of a bitch. I'm not, I'm not even going to take you. As we sallied forth, we noticed smoke rising, of course. Oh, we're on fire. Good times. Uh, right, so the reason being, we're going to need a little bit of water to get a little bit closer to, to the home. To the home. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I'm, um, I'm going to have to drop something. Right, so... We need to get onto. We need to get onto the desert in order to not be set alight. So let's do that first. A torch and animal tooth, that's fine by me. Right, so let's set this uh, this camp up. I mean, we have to take it all back. We, we need to get back with all this gold, or else we're not going to be able to compete with what's going on with the rest of the guys. So rest. Pneumonia, of course. Uh, the exhaustion was wearing us down. Even the warming flames of the campfire did not to ease our minds. The hacking cough sounded terrible, so I had to spend spend time to make sure she survived this episode. Eventually, her condition improved enough so that we could continue the journey, but we did lose time. Time is something we have lots of, so that's fine. And we're, we're pretty warm next to this massive fire, so, you know, pneumonia isn't that bad, really. Uh, right, okay, the mood was buoyant, so I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. So I took idly through the bored look of someone of, of a game aficionado. I soon found myself challenged to a game of cards. Do I really want to do this again? No. No, I don't. I mean, this has turned serious now. You know, we're on the home straight. Almost. Almost. Uh, rest again. Everyone, everyone got on fine the last night, of course. So, pack up the camp. So, right now, I was looking. No, um, we're not going to have any more caves. So, we can now drop the torches. I just wanted to check before we came back on. We are, however, probably going to be intercepted by a very large angry bird. I mean, is that a risk we're willing to... Do? You know what? Let's just wait it out. Let's see where the bird comes to. Is the bird coming in our direction? No, I reckon we can pass that. Another shrine. All right, well, uh, let's uh, camp it up. And uh, we're going to rest. Oh, this was a good place, and I was sure we would get some well-deserved rest here. There was turmoil in the group. So we took pointed at a vulture that was flying overhead. According to her, this was a bad omen for our venture. Do we have... Oh, we do. We have a, a marked bullet. We'll do it. And we got some meat out of it. I selected a marked bullet to take the vulture down with a well-placed shot. It fell to the ground a hundred yards away. So we took her as shocked as she was relieved. As long as she's happy. That's all that matters. Alright, so. Pack up the camp. We're not overburdened, but that's fine. Because we'll cook the meat and eat the meat. 
And uh, hopefully there'll be some stackable stuff within the shrine, or else this could be it. Oh. All right. A shrine towered above us. Time had taken its toll on the structure. I could make out an entrance on an upper platform. We would have to climb up the exterior walls in order to reach it. We found some sticks planted firm in the ground. Someone put ghastly human heads on their sharp end. Their mouths had been sewn shut as if to silence them. <sighs> you know what? Let's do it. Bugger. Who have we lost? Cook. Yeah, we <laughs> had to take risks if, if we wanted to succeed. After a short motivational speech, we started to ascend the weather-torn wall. Our attempt was ill-fated. Cloudy Maisonette was too exhausted and screamed in terror as she plummeted. She slammed against the ground, cracking open her skull. The deformed pose of her mangled body was a gruesome sight. The group was shocked. Ah, booger. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. More gold. I mean, do you stack? You don't. All right. What a glorious day. I chose to be mine. Blah, blah, blah. Suddenly it felt quiet here, more peaceful. There was no way to describe this. I have experienced... I have experienced the rapture. What have I done? Uh, we survived, I guess, is what we've done there. We have lost our cook, but hey-ho. Um... Four slots overburdened. Now is the time to get critical. So, we've got 120 funds there. With that being said, the jewels can go. We can try and avoid fighting. It'd probably be best if we did try to avoid fighting now that we've lost some dice. Uh, so, with that being said, I think. Do I want to drop the bullets? Do I really want to drop the bullets? I mean, the water's useful. We're going to have to keep the water. What are these worth? 50, 70, 50, 70, 50, 50, 70, 70. I'm going to drop the moonstones. That's two. I'm going to drop the binoculars. Oh, and I'm going to drop one golden coin. Just so we can carry on. So, uh, we're going to use a dynamite next to this. We don't need to worry about the, uh, the natives coming after us now. Although they are very much offended. Very much offended. And, uh, hmm. I mean, do we go all the way? The raptor will get bored, no doubt. Right, so an oasis. And this is the last place we we really have to worry about. I think. So how do we want to play this? Well, let's rest first. Sprained ankle. Sometimes camp proves to be the most dangerous part of an expedition. Serbatuk wanted to demonstrate her supposedly powerful kick on a discarded bottle. She missed her target by far and instead kicked a solid rock. The next hour, she spent uselessly hopping on one leg. I scolded her. We were an expedition, not a field hospital. Oh, dear. Capacity minus one. <laughs> Bastards. Right, so rest again. Uh, everyone's good. We're back up. I'm not too fussed by water. How much to get home anyway? 427 because we're overburdened. Okay. Um, can I heal her? No. Right. So I need to drop something. Oh, I hate dropping. You know what? We're going to drop the water. Screw the water. Right, so let's... Uh, let's cut through here. Move to there. Cut through there. And then get the camp out. 
All right, let's get up to tip top. Oh, vultures. Shoot it down with a marked bullet. That's fine. Um, up to 100. Cool. Pack up the camp. Get rid of the meat. Right, so. Can we get all the way back? Let's do it. Let's do it. Can we do this? Is, is everything going to go according to plan? I mean, there's nothing near us here. It's only this question mark which can really knacker us up. Where there is nothing. So I think we're good. I think this is it. With one sanity left. Ha! Ah. Our vessel was stood offshore where we anchored it. Laying eyes on her again made me a little homesick. Sail home victoriously. I had achieved everything I wanted here. In a glorious moment, the ship left the shores. Our vessel set a course for home. I could not wait to get back home and talk about what we had found here. After all this hardship, euphoria overcame me. I knew that the name, man with no name, would go down in the annals of world history. Wow, what an epic, epic trek. We found the Golden Pyramid. We got a new world bonus, which is awesome. And that's about it. What a cute donkey. We did lose our chef, but hey-ho. So this time around, we get to choose from Black Market, Climber, or Desert Explorer. Ooh. You know what? We've got quite a few teeth, so I'm not going to be worried too much about the Black Market. We're going to go for Climber, which will help us have a good look around the areas as and when we, uh, well, find them, I guess. Tippity top. So, Raoul Admonson has caught up with us. Bastard. I'm sure we'll be okay, though, because we've got fame to put on before we get to... Yeah, there we go. Look at that go. Uh, we've got no monies, though, so we're going to need to play this pretty well. So, let's gift. Gift. So, we are just, uh, just over 300 sanity. So we'll sell you. We're keeping all the teeth. We'll sell the raptors. It's 160. Uh, gift. 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 I mean, this, the theory is here, if we have a terrible, terrible sixth expedition, we should hopefully be able to just get the balloon out there and still win. It's a cop out, but it's it's still a win. So that being said, gift. Boom. Awesome. And the next time around, because it's the last exposition, we can only go to the Tiki Taka prehistoric lands. It's got two villages and two shrines. Sounds like a small map. Should be good. Should be good. It's probably going to be terrible, but hey ho. Thank you for watching this very long episode. A like is always appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.